I really feel if you are not in a fit body, you are doing yourself great injustice. It is not just a privilege to be in a fit body, it is your responsibility to maintain your physical fitness. Because everything is going to be tasteless if you are not physically fit. As I always say, if you have 20 minutes to devote to meditation, give only 5. I would rather have you devote 15 minutes to exercise. If a body is fit, you can do sadhana, you can do work, you can be more effective. If you've got a splitting headache and you're trying to work, you won't be effective. You'll be very irritable or irritated and so on. So when we exercise, every pore of your body will thank you for that bit of exercise that you do. Otherwise, it's just an absolute abuse of human existence. I think in a country there should be a law of some kind. A person who doesn't exercise <laughs> should be given some kind of rigorous imprisonment so they are breaking stones or cooking noodles or something, so they are exercising. I think that would really mean a lot. And today's medical system is really skewed. It's really, really twisted. Certainly in the West, most doctors uh, are never taught the concept of nutrition. If you go there, they will just see these sim certain symptoms, they take this medication. They don't know that lifestyle changes. They do know, actually, that's the sad thing. A lot of them do know, but they will not talk about it. There is such strong lobbying and interests of drug companies that it's mind-boggling. It's almost illegal, put it this way, it's so bad. But it's happening. 95% of our diseases are lifestyle diseases. Change your lifestyle and the disease goes away. And you can keep eating medica medication, but that doesn't do what half an hour or 20 minutes of exercise accomplishes. Even a two-year-long course of medication fails to in most cases.